have it down to 326 microns but I'm not satisfied with that yet because that's with the vacuum pump running that's not into decay so that's definitely not if I let that decay it'll go up a bit and of course I have the micron meter right there and the vacuum pump is outside on the roof 80 feet away 80 feet of line set and um, I'm pulling with one hose through the suction line so it has to pull all the air or the nitrogen this is dry with filled with nitrogen it's pulling all the air through the expansion valve through the coil all the windings of the coil and then through the low side all the way to the vacuum pump outside so it's taking a little longer than normal most guys would just blow and go and say i'm good boss let's let's wrap this up and go home we can't afford to do this but i don't work for somebody i work for myself i work for my customers and i don't screw my customers over like that so i can afford the time to come back here i have many jobs going on at one time so i want to make sure even though i didn't sell this equipment i did not install this equipment i'm still going to treat it like it's my own equipment installed i'm going to try to give them the best best possible I can so I'm gonna wait till this I'm not gonna wait here because it is uh, 550 right now and this will take well over another hour hour and a half to get down there you already see I'm one hour and 39 minutes into it let's get down there one hour and 40 minutes into it and I'm down to uh, 320 and remember this was the air handler that was left outside exposed to the atmosphere not sealed so all the oil that was in this used unit was exposed and uh, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll open up the refrigerant circuit I have the air handler running right now it's running uh, I have to test the zones to make sure it's wired up in zone he did the wiring and he just tried to copy which is really he's an automotive mechanic so he has the ability to follow wiring and do he's not stupid he's not just a regular do-it-yourself person usually Automotive mechanics can do a pretty good job. And so the guy who did this is an automotive mechanic. The guy who sold him the stuff is a commercial refrigeration guy and the initial put in and stuff. But when it came to him moving this from his other location to this location, he, he did this work. He rewired it and everything. And he tried to write everything down and keep notes and everything like that. So uh, I'm impressed with him with doing that. And, you know, he zip tied everything together, tried to make it all look neat. That was, uh, you know, remember, he's just an automotive mechanic. He's not an HVAC mechanic. He's not a refrigeration guy. This was an automotive mechanic moving this from one place to another place. And uh, the only thing he didn't know, he didn't know that you cut pipes with a hacksaw and then you leave it open to the atmosphere because of the POE oil. He didn't know about that. Uh, and that's why I put an extra time and I just left it on the vacuum pump over the weekend and I will leave it on the vacuum pump and come back tomorrow morning and this thing should be well below 100 microns and we'll see where we go for tomorrow. I'll see you guys and uh, we'll check on the process. I'll open up the refrigerant circuit and we'll set the refrigerant charge to uh, the super or uh, sub cooling. This is the expansion valve system. So it's sub cooling, not super heat. And we'll see what we get. See you guys.